Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today is another upgrade day. We got a bunch of upgrades for these guys right here. Um, we got a light kit for the EZRC and a bunch of Injura upgrades for the TRX 4 m So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up these packages and uh, show you what they are. But first off, I'm gonna go and name, uh, I'll tell you everything I got. First off, we got metal transmission gear from Muse Racing. I believe these are the trail gears. I did not find any of the fast or the low range, but I'll double check because I have um, I have the uh, track for low range uh, gearing. I'm gonna compare the gears to the uh, low range, see if the gear is the same. If not, then it's probably gonna be the um, the trail gear. And we have some skid plates, aluminum skid plates, or no, I mean stainless steel skid plates. We have some brass skid covers, black, black brass steering link. We have aluminum servo, aluminum servo um, things here. And we have this light kit. Uh, this light kit here was designed was designed for the uh, the TRX 4M. We're gonna go ahead and install it on the uh, Bronx over here because the TRX 4M already has its own Pro Scale light kit. Well, this has front and rear lights. It's from Injura. You can uh, you can buy it now through Amazon. So anybody you want to buy a light kit for maybe another RC that's not their TRX4M or if you want to buy one for their TRX4M, there's a light kit available through Injura. So yeah, that's all we got. We're going to go ahead and uh, open up the packages and uh, we're going to start putting parts in. Okay, hey, we're back. So here are all the parts layout. I'm going to explain to you what each individual part comes with and what you get with it, okay? First off, we have our gears here. Um, I put the low speed and high speed gearing to compare it to the the uh, machine uh, steel ones that I got from Muse. I just want to make comparison um, to see the difference and after looking through it, I believe that these are probably going to be your trail gears over here. So we, these, are, these are your Traxxas low speed gears and these are your Traxxas high speed gears and they're completely different. And this is definitely smaller than that. This is definitely smaller than that. So I believe these are probably going to be trail gears. We won't know yet until we open the gearbox up and remove the gears so we can show them to you guys afterwards. So the kit itself is just the three gears, let's say trail gears. Comes with the um, ball bearings and these little, these little things to hold the gear stuff. I suppose to hold down the gears in the transmission. So I'll, I'm going to put all this in the transmission. They're all bearings. I'm going to grease them up. And make sure they don't get rusted out. Since we already have metal here. That's for the transmission. Now, we have your skid plates here. They're very nice skid plates. They look pretty well made. Uh, these, are, these are stainless steel. You can see they have a little Injera logo on all of them. On both the, the, uh, gift, the gift ones and the uh, skid plate in the bottom of the truck. And we have your gift covers. The quality of the machining is pretty nice, it's very clean, I like the black and gold combo, it looks really well put together. Um, these come with um, four screws for your gear for your uh, gifts. Um, these don't come with any um, screws, I believe you have to use the same screws you already have for your gifts and for your skid plate down here. As you can see there's a little hole right there. See this goes down like that. So I, I, I figure um, you're gonna have to remove that screw and then put it back in and, and fit in the uh, skid plate that way at the bottom. 
and these are going to be retrofitted down here so yeah but I believe both sides are the same there, there's no difference in either side so I don't think there's a specific way to put them in so yeah that's, that's the uh, skip flakes one here in the middle and we have our our steering link also brass Got the uh, gold and black uh, combo there. It's very nice, nicely machined. Uh, this comes with um, some O-rings and some sticks to go, some fittings that go into these parts right here on each one. And they come with a couple extra O-rings, I suppose, in case you lose one or whatever. And then you have your um, your servo horns. Uh, we have a green. These come in two packs, so I uh, ordered. So I uh, ordered the green and black two pack. They're very nicely machined. They look really good, and they have the Enjoy logo on there. And they come with uh, two screws. I right, this is for this one here. This is for the horn itself, and this is the one that goes attached to the uh, steering link and under here. And then we have the uh, light kit that's going to go on the uh, on the Bronx right here. Um, this is, was designed for the TRX4M, but I'm going to retrofit it and put it into the Bronx so the half front of your headlights. Now, we're going to turn the car on and test the lights out just to show you what they look like when they're turned on. Okay, looking good. The light kit. I'm gonna install it here, and there you go. You see, it's actually a red light for the back and your front light for the rear. These are gonna go into the Bronx over here because the TRX 4M here already has its own light kit. I'm gonna put these into this one. It only has front lights, and I took them off so I can replace some of these right here. That's gonna be for the Bronx. That'll be after I'm done with the TRX 4M here. And the kit itself comes with these little um, clips. You can see the they're uh, designed with, to where. Oh, sorry. They're like uh, these. I guess slide the wires right in. Basically, you can see that right there. It kind of opens and closes like that. So you just slide the wire and it'll stay in there. It's a sticky tape on the back, so these are these, these even attached to the um, frame to route the light with me. All right, let me take this, turn this guy off, and that's how that's your parts layout, all in Jura. Um, I'll put links on the description for all these parts for the Muse uh, machine skill um, gears. I'm going to call them shell gears for now, I don't know what the gears in the actual transmission look like, so we're going to call it good for now. Well, we're going to go ahead and start taking this thing apart, and we're going to swap out the gears on the transmission. Thank you. I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, here we are. We took out the battery, so we're going to start taking off the battery tray to install, to remove the transmission from the uh, chassis. We're going to remove those two screws down there. We're going to take these two screws out and then we're going to flip it over and I think there's a couple more on the bottom so we're going to go ahead and start with this first battery tray. Now we're going to remove these um, four screws down here. You got these, this one, that one, that one, that one. And that should um, help bring out the entire transmission from the actual shaft. Let's start doing that now. All 
right, transmission out. Uh, these two pieces of drive shaft are coming out as well. We're gonna go ahead and screw them from here and take them out. Uh, we, all we did was take off those four screws and the whole thing came right off pretty easily. Just a little tug here and there, but it came out pretty quickly. We're gonna go ahead and take these two off and we're gonna go ahead and start taking the motor apart. Alright, so we're done removing the battery tray, remove the transmission from the four screws, and then now we can remove the uh, drive shaft and from here, which are over here. Now I'll go ahead and remove these four screws back here in the back of the transmission to take the cap, the cover off, and go ahead and swap out the uh, gears for the new one. Alright, well, we took out the four screws from the transmission case. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Screw around right with the gear. There we go. There are your gears. And here is um, the one on the motor here. So basically, we're gonna remove these four bushings. And we're going to remove these four gears and replace them with these uh, steel metal gears. You can see right here. So we're going to go ahead and compare them to see which is which, and then we're going to go ahead and install them. As I mentioned earlier, I wasn't sure if these were trail gears or not. I'm sure they are. Just want to make sure that they're exactly the same as the ones I got here. And from what I'm seeing now, I believe they're pretty much the same exact uh, trail theory for the TRX client. So the only difference is these are metal and these are plastic. So yeah, so these are, um, I will call it officially, these are your trail gears, not your not your slow, they're your low range or your fast gears, these are your trail gears. So if you do order anything from you, you're only going to have trail gears available. Yeah, I didn't see any um, any of the low range or high speed gears, so if you want to run your truck with the stock trail gears and you want some metal, this is the way to go for the GRX 4M. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting these gears into the, removing the bush, the uh, bushings obviously, and replace them with the bearings, and then we're going to go ahead and replace all the gears. Okay, we're going to take off these uh, bushings and we're going to replace them with the bearings. We're going to grease the little socket first and then we'll put the bearings in after we do that. Okay, now we're going to take off the uh, motor, I'm going to swap out the, um, the, little, the little gear here. I'm going to go ahead and put the bearings in place of the bushing. I'm going to put a little grease on the area here. Okay, all bearings are in, ready to go, we're going to start putting in the gears.
Okay, so we're done with the gearing. We got them all in there. You can see here, they're working properly. I greased the inside and outside, and I greased the edges of the uh, case. So when we close the transmission back up, it'll give you a nice, uh, good feel to avoid water going in there. Here's the other half, just one half. So we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, motor in. And uh, then we're gonna close it, close it all up and put it back in the truck. I took out the plastic gear from the motor and uh, we're gonna place it with the metal one, but when I tried doing that, when I tried doing it, it wasn't going in, so I think uh, it's a little too tight and it's not letting the um, gear go in. I'm trying my best to get it in there, but I think it's not gonna go in. So I may have to end up putting the original plastic gear in there because I can't put the metal one in there right now. For some reason the hole is a little too small and it doesn't go in there. I know you have to force the uh, little pinion gear here so it'll stay put so it has some like teeth on the edge of the motor. And from what I see here with the uh, metal gear is that it's tag bit smaller than the original one so I think you might not be able to put it in there even though we as hard as we try so we may even end up using a plastic gear on that one which is kind of a bummer because you know we're trying to go all metal here and now we end up with a plastic part yeah moving it around twisting it and it's not going in no matter what I do so I think uh, that's a dud and then we'll go back and use the original plastic gear to uh, force it into that Yeah, definitely not going in. So we're going to go back to the um, original plastic gear. Just an FYI, if you decide to buy these gears, you may have to end up using your original plastic gear from your motor. Since the uh, other one won't go in. Oh, use our C fixes this problem and they'll give us a slightly larger diameter um, thing in here. Alright, well that's it. We're going to go ahead and install the motor. Okay, motor's in. Seems to be working fine. We're going to go ahead and shut this bad boy down. Put it all back together again. Put the four screws we took out earlier. All right, so we're done building the transmission. All the gears are in place, and we're gonna go ahead and test it. See how the how it's meshing. And we'll go ahead and uh, plug the battery in and just go ahead and trigger it to see how it's rolling, okay? There we go. See, it's working. I think there's no, there's no grinding or nothing. Everything's pretty smooth. Now, backwards. Act reverse. Reverse. And forward. Reverse. And forward. Everything is working properly, so we all know we're meshed up the right way. Before you put the gears, make sure they're all nicely meshed up because when I put them in the first time, the motor wasn't spinning. I think I think it was a little either I think the uh, 
pinging the motor pinging way too far down so it wasn't hooking up properly it wasn't spinning the motor so I adjusted it to where it was right exactly mesh with the uh, first gear in the bottom and now as you can hear it works pretty well then I'll go ahead and put these uh, screws on and then we'll assemble the transmission all right so we got the transmission back in place all the gears are meshed up so I'm gonna go ahead and um, Reinstall the transmission, put down all the screws, and we're gonna go ahead and put down the, uh, the battery holder. Alright, so we're done putting the transmission, we put in the four screws that put it down in the frame. Now we're installing the uh, battery holder, and we should, we should be about done here. And, there she is man, looking good, everything's working properly. By the way, a quick tip, when you guys do this right here, I recommend you guys have like some silicone, WD-40 especially silicone. You um, might want to add some to the drive shaft ends over here because it's already hitting under the uh, skid plate. It's kind of hard to sometimes get any lubricant down there. Before you put the motor back in, I recommend put some a little a little bit of a silicone at the end of the drive shaft over here. Because so some like mug and stuff will get in there and then it'll get all night. It'll, it'll get hard and gnarly. So before you put the transmission back in with the motor, just uh, add spray a little bit of. Um, WD-40 silicone to the end of the drive shaft over here. You see now it's nice and proper. Gears are all meshed up. We're gonna go ahead and start it up real quick. And I'm gonna see how it works with the gears, with the new gears in there, okay? I'm gonna put the battery in. We're gonna go ahead and start it. There she is. It is a little bit, it, it sounds a little different now because they're metal gears, so it's gonna make a little more noise than the plastic gears. So, I mean, if you, if you keep going, you turn it. It's looking pretty good. Now reverse. Reverse. Front. Looking pretty good. We're good to go, then we're all set. And that is how you install your metal gearing from Muse RC. I'll place a link in the description so you guys can purchase some of these if you guys would like some. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we really can't do much about the pinion gear that goes to the motor. The one that he gave us, is, the hole is too small. So it's not pressuring into the actual motor end, so we had to use the original plastic one to run it. To run it. So um, hopefully Muse will fix this problem up and um, it'll make the whole just a tiny bit larger so it'll go on there without um, trying to force, without, you know, trying to force it or break anything. But as far as things go, um, everything's working pretty smooth. You, you saw the gears, they do buzz a little bit more than the plastic gears, so it can make a little bit more noise, but it doesn't sound horribly bad. Okay, well, just make sure when you guys do anything like this, you know, make sure you put all oh, grease. Grease is very important, especially when you have metal parts and bearings. You gotta make sure you grease everything up with marine grease. I recommend uh, this stuff here, the green grease, waterproof. And uh, it seals up pretty nicely, so if you guys um, do decide to do this project and swap out the plastic gears for metal trail gears and recommend greasing up all the bearings and all the sockets in there before putting the motor back together. And make sure the motor is meshed up properly because earlier I had problems it wouldn't spin the, rotor, the um, gears because the um, I think it was too far back into the motor so I could push out a little bit until it was even with the first 
here in the body with the connect mission. Now you saw how everything works properly, so we're good to go there. Now, um, this is a two part series, so part two will probably be in tomorrow, sometime tomorrow or Sunday. Um, right now, um, this took a little bit longer than I thought it would, so we're gonna go ahead and stop today and we'll do part two um, uh, another day and I'll post a video on that. But thank you for watching and I hope you guys uh, learned a thing or two today. And Like I said, if you guys want Metal Gear for your truck, just go to Muse RC through Amazon and you can find uh, Metal Gear for your transmission if you want to change them over. You guys have a good night. Thanks a lot for watching. So part two, we're gonna install all these components on here, and we're gonna install the uh, light kit on the uh, Bronx over here. Okay, that'll be in part two. You guys have a good night. Thank you for watching.